the roots of Juneteenth. KPIX 5's Devin Feely on the fight today to uphold its promise. At its heart, Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom, freedoms that for African Americans have long been promised and often have been late in arriving. They were informed that they were free, that is the slaves, by a Union general who showed up with his troops and told them. And then there was the celebration. That celebration would come to be known as Juneteenth, marking the day June 19, 1865, when Union troops arrived in Galveston, Texas, on the western edge of the Confederacy and delivered the news of the Civil War. And with it, lifetimes of slavery and servitude were at long last at an end. The emancipation basically came with the Union Army. By law, in principle, if not practice, those former slaves had been free men and women for more than two years, liberated by President Lincoln's signing of the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863. As the Union Army advanced and sometimes retreated, emancipation advanced and sometimes retreated. And Texas obviously was uh, remote, right? Texas was further away. It was the edge of the Confederacy. Juneteenth was a moment in American history when the gap between the rights African Americans were guaranteed by law and the reality of their lived existence briefly narrowed and closed. It's sort of symbolic of how through the years legislation gets passed and it's good and it stands for you know, civil liberties, giving African Americans and other oppressed groups their rights, but not actually enacted. Juneteenth has always been celebrated with enthusiasm in Texas where the tradition originated and in communities across the country. The celebration has gained added significance this year after weeks of protest and unrest following the death of George Floyd while in police custody in Minneapolis. A chilling reminder that the promise of freedom and dignity and equality under the law delivered to those slaves over 150 years ago remains very much a work in progress. I worked on um, the, the Obama for America campaign back in 2008 and that campaign was all about hope and change. I still feel that hope and I still need that change. The popularity of the Juneteenth celebration has ebbed and flowed over the years. There is now a movement to make it a national holiday. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.